Hey everybody, Darth Warwick here, here for episode 3 of my Throwback Thursday album reviews. Now, I gotta do this one kind of fast. I just got out of the shower, going to see Star Wars Rogue One tonight, so yeah. Got a lot to do tonight, so I'm gonna try to do this fast. Um, so I picked a band where I don't really have to get too in-depth about the songs. That band would be ACDC. Now everyone knows ACDC. Back in Black, I Would Hell, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, maybe the best rock and roll band there ever was. Because, you know, people say the Stones. I can't totally argue with that, but the Stones went on too long. They did some shitty albums. They did some disco. You know, ACDC just kept doing what they do and it's kind of a shame what has happened to him nowadays Malcolm Young has Alzheimer's Alzheimer's is that how you say it? I don't fucking know um yeah Phil Rudd got arrested Cliff Williams just retired D Brian Johnson had to quit because of his hearing and believe me I've seen ACDC three times it's legitimate I saw them outside once one of the times I saw him was outside and it was still, like, ear-bleedingly loud. It was amazing. Um, so I can see how his hearing would be really bad. But they've been using Axl Rose as of recently for their live shows, which is a shame because Axl Rose is annoying and he's not Brian Johnson. So I will never see them like that. They're a shell of what they were. I believe Angus is the only real member left anymore. So, yeah. So let's get into this. This is from... I'm doing the album Power Ridge by ACDC. This is from back when Bon Scott was their singer before he died in 1980, I believe. So this is 1978. It's their fourth album, released on May 5th, 1978. It's their fourth album internationally. Now in their home country of Australia, it's their fifth album. Yeah, go figure that one out. They had one called... See, in America, they had an album called High Voltage as their first one, but... That was kind of a... And in Australia, they had High Voltage, and they had an album called TNT. And those two Australian albums were kind of mixed together for the American album, High Voltage. And the leftover tracks were used on a EP called 74 Jailbreak that was released in 84, I think, something like that. So, 10 years after they recorded, and they had a different singer. But yeah, so that's how that works. Um, this is the first album without... Cliff Williams. No, first album with Cliff Williams. Pardon me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, after um, Mark Evans left, he was having problems with um, Angus. Angus didn't feel he was really totally committed to the band, so he wanted him out. And, you know, as Angus says, Angus, that yeah, band goes. So, yeah, Mark Evans was replaced by Cliff Williams, who just recently retired, just like like a couple months ago. So, he's been with them a fucking long time. <laughs> like almost 40 years. Um, yeah, it's their least successful album internationally during the Bon Scott era. Just didn't do as well as the ones before it. The ones before being High Voltage, I believe, Dirty Deeds, Thunder Cheap, and Let There Be Rock as far as America goes. Um, it only reached number 133 in the American charts, the Billboard. And it's a shame because this is a really great album. If you love rock and roll, just like pure rock and roll, you can't go wrong with ACDC. And you really can't go wrong with the Bon Scott era. Just fucking great stuff. I'm, I'm, now I'm in the habit of swearing all the time in these videos, so sorry. Um, yeah, the European version of this album... Included an extra song called Cold Hearted Man. And I actually listened to that song, and it's a really good song. I wish it was included on the American version of the album, but it's not. But I got it anyway, so whatever. Good song. I guess it's on the vinyl. European vinyl. If you can find it, check it out. It's great. Alright, now I'm going to go into these songs. Now, these songs 
I'm not going to get real in-depth into them like I have with the previous two Throwback Thursdays with, um, yeah, Beatles Revolver and Weezer Pinkerton. By the way, Weezer Pinkerton, I forgot to give, I believe I forgot to give a rating on that. And I'd say I'd give that an 8.5. 8 8.5 out of 10. Seal of approval. All right. So the, the reason I'm not going to go really in-depth on these songs is because it's ACDC. This is what ACDC sings about. Sex, booze, rock and roll, and things relating to hell. Like damnation and, you know, the devil and stuff like that. That's basically all they... There's a couple of exceptions, maybe, but that's really all they sing about. And it's great. You know, less is more, in my opinion. As far as they go, at least. They can... They're pretty much the only band that can get away with doing the same thing for over 40 years and still being great. So, let's get into this, these songs. Number one, Rock and Roll Damnation. Now we got two of the topics right there in the title of the first song. Rock and Roll and Something Relating to Hell, Damnation. Great song. I love the song. It's the only single from the album. Didn't do great. Did, did good in England, reached number 24. It's actually their first charting single in England. Has um, hand claps and maracas and doesn't really have a guitar solo in it, so it's kind of different than the normal ACDC song, but it's a great song. I love it a lot. It's one I actually listen to quite a bit. And, yeah, there's a live version out there on YouTube for some show, Midnight Special, maybe? I could be wrong, but... That might be Sin City I'm thinking of, but there is a live version of this from some show on, probably an English show, um, of them doing this, and it's really good. You should check it out. Great song. Great ACDC. Down Payment Blues is number two. It's about, like, being a struggling musician living on welfare. A rock and roller on welfare. And, you know, he says things like, you know, Living on a shoestring, a cat, I have a Cadillac, but I can't afford the gasoline. And I can't even feed my cat. And hiding from the rent man. All good stuff. All stuff struggling musicians know about. Except for the feeding my cat part. Because that comes first. But, yeah. Good song. Great song, actually. It's the longest song on the album. It's like 6, some 6.03, I think. And the riff is great basic blues riff, and it's just repeated throughout the whole song, but it's fucking great. I love ACDC. I love Angus Young. Especially this early stuff. Man. You can't, you can't go wrong with it. Down Payment Blues is a great freaking song. Okay. Give Me a Bullet. Might be my least favorite song in the album. I like it. Give Me a Bullet to Bite On, I believe it says. And I'll Make Believe It's You. Sex. ACDC. It's what they do. Um... Great. It's probably my least favorite of the album, but it's a really good song. It's an old ACDC song, so it's automatically great. But I listened to the other songs on it before I listened to that one. But it's a good song. Check it out. Riff Raff. <laughs> if you're a guitar player, if you're just into listening to cool guitar, this is a great song. It starts out with something, a cool riff, and it just, like, the basically half the song, maybe more, is basically a guitar solo. And the lyrics are strange, and they're cool, and Bond is belting them out. And, yeah, good song. If you want to pick up the album, they have a live album that came out after Power Ridge called If You Want Blood, You've Got It. And there's a great live version of that song on here, on there. So, check that out, Riff Raff. Riff Raff. Okay. Number four. No, no, sorry. Number five, Sin City. This is probably the song I was thinking of that a live version on, on on Midnight Special from the 70s, but it's a great song. I love this song. Great riff. Sin City, you know what it's about. It's about Las Vegas. It's about gambling. It's about whores. About drinking. About, you know, living the lifestyle of a rocker. And man, it's a good song. The groove in it. That's the thing about ACDC. They got that groove fit. This can't be matched. You gotta love it. Sin City is a great song. Check it out. 
What's next to the moon? I don't really know what that means, but I love the song. It says something like, it's your love that I want, it's your love that I need, it's your love that I got to have. What's next to the moon? I don't know what's next to the moon. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but it's a really good song. Got a, It's another kind of bluesy song. I really like it a lot. They mentioned Superman and Lois Lane in it. Which is always cool for a dumb geek like me. So, yeah. Good stuff. Number seven, Gone Shooting. This is a really bluesy song, and I like this a lot. Yeah, it's a traditional rock and roll sex kind of song from ACDC. If you listen to the soundtrack or just watch the movie for Beavis and Butthead Do America. Yep, Beavis and Butthead Do America. It's, it's in the soundtrack, and it's really good. It's a good song. There's not a whole lot I can say about these songs, except that they're really good. They, Like I said, they follow a formula. And they suck to that pretty much their whole career. But if you like that kind of stuff, like I do, if you like balls to the wall, rock and roll, that's, that's just the way to go. Alright, number eight, Up to My Neck and You, which I'm sure is a sexual innuendo of some sort. Great rocking song, hard rocking song. The last two songs on this album just like grab you by the nuts and fucking twist and it hurts a lot but it sounds fucking good yeah good fucking song like up to my neck in trouble up to my neck in pain and pleasure and all this stuff and he's just screaming his ass off and i love it i love bon scott rest in peace okay last song on the album number nine only nine songs on this album um kicked in the teeth about a, a woman who's he's She's cheating on him, and he feels like he's being kicked in the teeth again. And running around with everybody in town, and she's she's a whore. But, yeah, that's what the song's about, going back to the sex thing. and Yeah, so that's Power Ridge. Um, this is really the last ACDC album before they got really big. Like, their next album was Highway to Hell, and they started getting some real international success with Highway to Hell. Like, with England and the U.S. and all that. And then after that, Back in Black came out, and they were everywhere. Everyone knows Back in Black. One of the best-selling albums of all time. So this is really the last album before they became international superstars, and it's a really great album. It's overlooked. And it's a shame because it's really fucking good. So if you like ACDC, you like rock and roll, you'll like Power Ridge. Trust me, okay? All right, guys. So that's my episode for the week. Uh, not going to forget to give a rating this time. ACDC, Power Ridge. I would give, I'll give that another 8.5. Seal of approval, again. What's my seal of approval? Um, seven and above, I guess. Okay, so, yeah, pick up this album. It's good. You'll like it. Trust me. I wouldn't lie to you. See you later.